In this video, messages to my younger self, Brock Fletcher style, recorded during one of our recent interviews as an experiment, and I knew it was going to be cool, and you're going to want to check this out, because messages to my younger self, we could all benefit from this stuff coming up next. That's for sure. All right, let's do the, let's do this fun new thing. We got Brock is my this is an experiment. So I've been doing these messages to my younger self videos on YouTube and they become kind of popular. People seem to like them and they're just one minute little clips and then I have a like a rebuttal to myself just talking to my younger self. What I know now being at this point in my life, I'm not going to say an old guy, but you know, hey, I'm not a young guy anymore and that's that's the truth. So I'm going to, I'm going to use Brock as my friend and he's been gracious enough to agree. Hey, that sounds like fun messages to my younger self, Brock Fletcher style. So Brock, you can do one, you can do two, you can do three, whatever you want, make them short, but okay. what would be the first message to your younger self. Now you're talking to your younger self. So Brock Fletcher right now, as you're sitting advice to your younger self, what would you tell yourself right now? Your younger self. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to talk to my 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 middle school high school self. Uh, I would tell that I would tell myself uh, the opinions of other people do not matter at this time. Uh, let it run off you like water, you know, water off your back, um, because uh, middle school and high school is not the best time of your life. Actually, it might be the worst time of your life. And life is so much better as an adult. So don't sweat. Don't sweat any of the losers who are bullying you uh, in middle school and high school, because they'll probably be losers as adults and you'll be awesome. That is that's so perfect. See, it was pretty easy. Now you want to try another one? Yeah, let's was, do another one. That was really. Yeah, middle school and high school was an interesting time of everyone's lives. And as Brock and I talked about during the uh, our experiment, I was bullied, he was bullied, people were picking on people. It's just, you know, and having raised children now, it's it's, it's part of life. You got to try to weather the storm and, and don't sink. So yeah, messages to my younger self, opinions, high school, middle school, don't sweat it too much. It, it'll be fine. It was pretty easy. Now you want to try another one? Yeah, let's do another one. That was really, that was really cool. Now, Brock Fletcher here, I'm setting, I'm going to reset this, everything. So Brock Fletcher is going along the lines of my messages, my younger self videos that I've been doing on YouTube. And we're getting some from Brock. And that first one was greatness. I mean, bull, I was bullied. I wrote about, it. I wrote it in my, one of my books. I was being bullied. It sucked. I mean, what, it did what's suck. that? It sucked, man. It's so bad. Big kid was just pounding on me, but I had a friend who's still my friend to this day, David Franco. And if he's listening to this, David, love you so much. He's, he's he was my protector in the sixth grade. I had this cat was just he was just terrorizing me. I was a little mouthy white kid, and I probably deserved to get slapped around a little bit, but not to the extent that this guy was slapping me around. And David came to my um, he he rescued me. He saved me and got this guy to leave me alone. And so, go ahead, man. I, I, <laughs> Brought back memories, but made us what we are today. Go ahead. Your message sure. is to yourself. Number two, Mr. Brock Fletcher. Uh, yes. Message number two. This will be um, when I worked for my grandfather, um, who really helped me to become mature. So um, it's okay that your grandpa is such a a hole to work for. His 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 constant. Uh, harassment of you and uh, pushing you to work harder and harder um, without rest will only benefit you in the future and will make you have the ability to basically work for anybody because if you can handle this, you can handle anything in life. And um, I uh, appreciated it. I appreciate it now, I have, but I, I did not appreciate it in the moment and I did not appreciate it for probably about five years after I quit working for my grandfather. Uh, but in retrospect, it was the greatest thing for me because it, is... it helped me become a much tougher person. So grandfather lessons, man, that's a good one. Brock got kind of emotional with that whole thing. He was so, being so honest. And 
I want to remind you guys, he, Brock had no idea that I was going to even ask him to do this. So for him to come up with these um, lessons, messages to my younger self and lessons from his grandfather is his second point. Spectacular. I mean, our grandfathers, it, it took him five years post to realize that the value add to his life that his grandfather brought to him. But that's the point. And he got it eventually. And I'm sure a lot of us are in the same boat. Exactly. Perfect. These messages to my younger self are going to be, I, I think they're going to be really successful. If, they, if you got one more, we'll give you one more. We got sure. time. To this. I know we're to change up the show a little bit, but you know, These this just shows your character, man. It shows who you are, how you got to be where you are now. And in, 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 in retrospect, we can help our younger selves. Maybe it'll help our kids and you're, you're drilling it. So g give me one more, if you would, please. Sure. Um, a message to my to my uh, impatient uh, young adult self as it pertains to college education. Uh, should have had more focus <laughs> uh, to finish college in a in a uh, succinct manner. Um, you didn't. That's okay. Better things are on the horizon. You're on your way to something else better. Victory. That was so perfect. Thank you, man, for doing that. And I am absolutely going to cut those and put those on in video. This is what we're trying to do with the radio program, everybody. We're trying to make it a little more robust for you. Now that we are in the refirement zone and Brock's known about this, we've been building towards this for a long time. And this, this we're just trying to get better. So, all right, back to, back to the reality. College and being patient. Well, I can certainly empathize with that, as many of you may know or may not know. I mean, it only took me a 25-year sabbatical to go back to college and finish my education. Brock talks about that and how we're all in a hurry to get things done. We're so in a hurry to grow up. We're so in a hurry. Relax. Take a deep breath. It's all good. I want to thank Brock Fletcher for sharing those pearls of wisdom. I hope you enjoy these. I know that messages to my younger self is going to be a superly, superly, is that a word? Superly successful. And I appreciate all of you very much. Thank you. Do the usual. Like, subscribe, whatever, comment. Like hearing from you. Okay, guys. Take care. Have a great day.